from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. Henrico Democrat announces plans for a Virginia Senate run. We'll tell you about it in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Wednesday, November 16th, 2022. It's brought to you today by the law firm of Barnes & Deal. And now for the news. Henrico Delegate Schuyler Van Valkenburg, who has represented the 72nd District in the Virginia House of Delegates since 2018, announced yesterday that he will seek a move to the Virginia Senate in the newly shaped District 16 if he earns the Democratic nomination for the seat, which seems likely. His opponent in the general election most likely will be 12th District Republican incumbent Shabon Donovan, who has served in that role since 2016. Donovan won re-election in 2019 by the slimmest of margins against Democratic House member Deborah Rodman, earning the victory by just more than 1,300 votes out of more than 78,000 cast. Rodman had given up her 73rd District House seat after just one term to seek the Senate seat. The redistricting process last year drew Van Valkenburg into the same 80th House District as another powerful Henrico House Democrat, Lamont Bagby, which raised questions about whether one of the two men would seek a Senate seat. The 80th District more generally reflects Bagby's former 74th District seat. The other two Senate districts that now will include portions of Henrico, the 13th and 14th, are home to Democratic incumbent Senators Joe Morrissey and Jennifer McClellan. To help Henrico residents who are struggling to afford basic necessities, the Henrico Community Food Bank plans to scale up its distribution. And the Virginia Department of Social Services is distributing federal funds to cover water bills. The food bank, which recently celebrated its first year in existence, has served more than 350 families during that time, according to its founder and executive director, Sudeshna Dasmanesis. But those are just some of the 30,000 or so people with food insecurity in Henrico County. The organization has no paid members on staff, but it does have 86 volunteers and board members. Henrico County gave it some seed money last year to help it get up and running. Meanwhile, low-income residents of the county who are struggling to pay their water bills can find relief through the Low Income Household Water Assistance Program, which is a continuation of the Federal CARES Act and American Rescue Plan Act funding. To learn more or apply, visit virginialihwap.com or call 888-373-9908. If you need to get to Minnesota from Richmond International Airport, you will soon have two new options every week. Sun Country Airlines yesterday announced plans to provide twice weekly service between Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport and Richmond starting on May 19th. The airline currently flies to more than 80 destinations and operates more than 100 routes throughout the Caribbean, U.S., Canada, Mexico, and Central America. The Richmond Holiday Light Show is coming back to the Richmond Raceway starting on Friday and running through the end of the year, December 31st. The show features about a mile of displays and hundreds and thousands of colored lights that are synced to seasonal music. It begins nightly at 5 p.m. and stays open some nights as late as 11 p.m. You can learn more at HolidayLightShow.com. And a traffic alert in northern Henrico County. Beginning today, VDOT will implement alternating ramp closures at the Parham Road exits, 83A and B, on I-95. They'll start at 10 p.m. tonight, run through 6 a.m. tomorrow. Then the pattern will repeat itself November 20th and 21st. There will be a posted detour route. The exit ramps are being closed, so the I-95 overpass bridges can be painted for maintenance. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Barnes & Deal. Barnes & Deal has emerged as a highly respected family law firm over the past three decades with the resources, skills, and experience necessary to handle high-asset divorces and other complex family law matters across Virginia. To learn more, visit barnesfamilylaw.com. That's B-A-R-N-E-S. 
or call 796-1000.